So we're very fortunate today to have with us Hunt Priest, who's one of the organizers of the Love Mercy Do Justice Conference that's going to be held May 4th, St. Luke's and Ballard. And so I thought that we'd ask him a few questions and he can share with you what their hopes are for this conference. So Hunt, thanks for being here today. It worked out well. It did. We're doing this it did. I wanted to uh, ask you or ha get you to share a little bit about what your hopes and dreams and the organizers that are with you on this conference. What what did you want to have happen uh, for the people in the Diocese of Olympia? All right, thanks. Um, it's a group of lay people and uh, clergy. Uh, four or five of us just talking about the need to get people in the diocese that are uh, involved in outreach, involved in social action ministry, involved in maybe in some justice work in the diocese, getting everyone together, first of all, just so that we know who's doing what and what's being done, maybe do some learning from each other. And then as we uh, begin to go a little bit more deeply into that work, to kind of begin to think about the difference between charity and uh, a check writing ministry for lack of a better word for, for understanding of that and then justice what what does scripture and the tradition the Christian tradition tell us about justice and how might we move toward a more just society and, and what's the role of the church in that could you tell us a little bit about what the day will be like I mean is the agenda just sure. basically sure it's a, so. it's nine to four we'll begin with morning prayer and then we'll uh, we'll have a keynote speaker it's the Reverend Anna Olson is coming up from uh, the Diocese of Los Angeles she's done a lot of work uh, in multicultural ministry and also with people on the margins of society in congregations and that's really our primary focus is life in congregations we'll have a keynote speaker from a keynote speech from her and then we'll have some breakout sessions where people from the diocese will begin to share the work they're doing and uh, and uh, it'll be a very conversational afternoon there's not going to be a whole lot of lectures there won't yeah. be any lectures really except for a brief keynote but then even Anna will be taking questions from, from the audience. So this idea of uh, the difference between charity and justice is intriguing it's one we've heard a lot about uh, can you say more about that I mean uh, maybe experiences or just uh, you know some direction we need to head that might help us sure. to make that definition clear? Sure. I think for most of us in congregations in the Episcopal Church, uh, we do understand the need to uh, share our financial resources, and a lot of our congregations do that quite well. We give a lot of money to different organizations uh, in our own communities and in the world. That's very important, but uh, w one component I think that misses is r relationships with people. Mm -hmm. uh, it creates a, an imbalance of power sometimes where there's the people that are giving the money and the people receiving it and there's not a whole lot of relationship. And it makes it more difficult for us to really understand where people are coming from. And uh, we have a less understanding, I think, of what the real problems in the society are, the structures in the society that keep people in poverty or that keep people uh, uh, hungry or poor or unemployed or underemployed. And once we have those relationships, then the hope is that we can work together to bring about uh, a more just society. Really. So the uh, conference itself, can it clergy and lay yeah. come? We want teams from congregations. So we, yeah. we would like to have clergy and two or three parishioners, uh, lay people. The lay people will be the most important part of this. It's, uh, that's, it's really more geared toward lay people and lay teams, so outreach committees. Uh, pe people that are just interested in this topic generally or who really want their own congregations to kind of move along this continuum from uh, charity work to justice work. Is there a cost? It's thirty dollars I believe is okay. the amount we've kind of gone back and forth. There, there are scholarships so we don't want anyone to uh, not come because of the cost. That will include lunch uh, and will include all the materials for the day. And, uh, We'll begin with morning prayer, we'll have the conference, then we'll have a social hour at the end at 4 o'clock so we can all get to know each other Wonderful. more deeply. Thank you, Hunter. Yeah, thank much. you. Yeah. yeah, thanks. Blessings to all of you, and come join us Saturday, May 4th.